Hey guys, Paparazzi here, talking ball cards. Been a while since I've recorded a video, um, but I got some some cool stuff here. This guy, I picked up a <laughs> I picked up a case or a pe uh, a box of 1986 tops, and I'm gonna break that here in a few minutes. So we'll do a quick break. Um, also, I just got some news that uh, my my PSA order, which is uh, PSA dual service. That should be coming back this week. I, at least I think it's getting shipped out this week. Um, so hopefully should have a fun video by Friday. Um, but I'm breaking this kind of out of nostalgia. I saw it on eBay, um, really good deal. It was 30 bucks uh, plus $6 for shipping. So, I mean, $36, $36 out the door. And 1986, I'm kind of a fan of it, uh, just, um, I think mostly because of its similarity to how 1964 um, tops looks. It looks a lot like 1964 in my opinion, uh, just with kind of the layout. Um, and when I was a kid, these were like some of, you know, these were the quote unquote older cards to me um, as I really didn't collect much, you know, 1960s, 1970s vintage. These were, you know, older cards to me. Um, you know, <laughs> we're going to break these here. And the names we want to look for, we're looking for uh, Sandberg. I think this is his second year card. Um, Jacks, Reggie Jackson, um, Ryan, and Pete Rose. Um, there's some other cards in here too. Some some cooler ones like um, there's a, there's an interesting rookie in here. Let's see, it's the the Len Dykstra, <laughs> Len Dykstra rookie. Um, these cards aren't super valuable. I mean, the, you know, the most, the most valuable card in the set, according to PSA SMR, if we land a, a Ryan Sandberg, uh, PSA 10, that's going to be, you know, a $500 card. So let's get right into it. Um, I'm going to try and do it relatively quickly. I'm recording on my phone. So, um, I have about a 30 minute restriction. So let's, uh, let's enjoy, uh, let's enjoy some, uh, some junk wax. Okay, we got the gum. It's intact. Um, no way I'm eating it. My stomach already doesn't feel great. Look at this vintage uh, wax stain here. You gotta love it. All right, let's see what's happening here. Again, looking for some Hall of Famers. Kingman, oh, right off the bat, one of the nicer cards. Um, the, Dwight, the Dwight Gooden. Pretty nicely centered. Um, the corner has a ding. Certainly no chance at a PSA 10, but you know, let's let's take a look here. I got it pulled up here. The good end is in a PSA 10 is a, a whopping $40 card. <laughs> nice. Okay. I'll uh I'm gonna set that aside here gently in my nicer card stack. Willie Wilson. Ed Vandenberg. Let's see here. Oh man, they're like all crossed. They're all collated interestingly. Spring Fever. Fernandez. Minton. Hulet. Willie McGee. Cool. All star. I have a Willie McGee autograph um, that I got as a child. Um, so I've always had Willie McGee, a lot of, kept a lot of Willie McGee cards. Um, the other thing I'm going to do with these certainly is um, Tony La Russa, nice manager card. I'm going to definitely commit some of these to uh, my TTM, that it's been kind of an ongoing effort. Uh, got to step up the pace here. Let's see what we got. More gum. Okay. Pena, Gross, Best, Stoddard, Lonnie Smith, QB Brooks, Hebner, any Hall of Famers in here? Britt. 
And the last card is a John Candelaria. Yeah, I kind of just like the way these cards look. This is fun. I, you know, I've had a few packs that I've come across of this stuff over the last, you know, over the years, but I've never, definitely never broken a whole case of it. Let's see here. Spring Fever. See ya. Spring Fever. Earl. Rusty Stob. I think he signs through the mail. What do we got here? Orioles leaders card, Glenn Cook, Bruce Hurst, and here's a Dwight Gooden all-star card. Okay, no Hall of Famers yet. But, you know, what do you expect? It's it's junk wax, so let's see here. Gary Carter, let's see, that might be one of the cards that's called out. Gary Carter. Yeah, he's Hall of Fame. All right. Uh, probably not the best well-known Hall of Famer, but let's see here. If I do miss any Hall of Famers, you guys let me know. Rafael Ramirez. Paul Molitor. Here we go. Heating up a little bit. That's a pretty nicely centered card as well. We'll set that aside. Bill Allman. Spring Fever. Goodbye. Let's see, Ron Washington, Aribe, Reds leaders, who is that? I'm not sure. Kazer, Tony Armas, Jerry Reed. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, excited to get those PSA cards back. Um, oh, there he is, Pete. Awesome. One of the better cards in the set. Pretty, eh, it's off top to bottom. Um, it's a little shifted up. Clean back. How many hits do you have at this time? Let's see. 4,204 hits. That's a pretty loaded stat sheet. You can see the years there led the led the league a few times. Nice rows. Okay, cool. Let's see. Anything else in here? If anyone's interested in the spring fever cards, let me know. I'll drop them in an envelope for you. <laughs> Fernando Venezuela, the record breaker card here. Let's see. Billy Sample, Ken Griffey Sr., kind of cool. And then uh, Dave Smith to wrap that pack up. Oh, it's nice to see the Pete Rose. Um, let's see here. And a Gen 10, according to PSA SMR, that's a, that's a whopping $140 card, although it's likely nowhere near the PSA 10. We saw the we saw the centering was off there, so. The hunt goes on for a PSA 10 out of here. Hargrove, Dunbar, Hayes, uh, Moore, Stein, Vukovic, <laughs> Jones, Phillips. Oh, Cecil Fielder, cool. Um, let's see here. I believe this is his rookie. Let me take a look here. That is, this is his rookie. And a PSA 10, this is a whopping $30 card. Um, ah, could be. I'd say this corner up there kind of holds it back. Back's nicely centered. I'll take a close look at these and see. What's that? Looks like a print mark. So that probably eliminates it eliminates it as a PSA 10 contender. Not to mention some of the corners are a little rough. Well, but nice card nonetheless. Cecil Fielder, rookie. Let's finish this pack up here. Dunstan, Kruko. Uh, da, da, da. Joe Necro. Wow. Showing some serious age there. 
Set him aside. Mark Sullivan. Okay. We've got some of the cooler cards here. There's also there's a pucket in here. It's not his rookie. Uh, Brett, George Brett, Oz, the Ozzy Guillen that what we pulled earlier. That's um, that is Ozzy Guillen's rookie, as I'm seeing here. Spring Fever, see ya. Castillo, Valentine. He signs, I believe, through the mail. So. Oh, nice. Okay, I saw the next one. Sandberg. Um, I think this is his second year. You guys let me know if I'm off on that. This is, um, in a 10, this is the most valuable card in the set. Let me find that here real quick. In a 10, this is a $500 card. Does it have 10 potential? Let's see here. Corners. God, I would say no. I don't think they're 10 corners does have a ding here too right out of the pack is dinged up I do say that it has pretty nice centering in my opinion so I would probably put this around a mint nine uh, maybe a, a near mint to mint eight so it could be a $20 card $20 card in a nine $7 card in an eight so um, I am putting together another bulk order that could make it in there, but you know going for PSA 10s on junk wax That's kind of a you know <laughs> Guy's name is razor That's kind of just like a fishing trip, you know, you're God, I could submit this whole box and only get a handful um, seriously <laughs> Got a Donnie baseball Don Mattingly nice Set him aside. Getting a good number of Hall of Famers. Don, although Don's not in the Hall of Fame, at least last time I checked, somehow. Let's see. Uh, Jesus, my brain is just toast from today. I can't even find it. Nope, he's. I did find it. He's not in the Hall. Which is kind of crazy to me. Um, then again, you know, Pete Rose isn't, but... Yeah, you bet on baseball, and your career's not looked on too favorably. Um, okay, let's see what we got. Getting back into it. Harper. Langston. Brenly. Durham. Okay. Gagney, Davis, and Kittle. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, nice, Ricky. Sweet. It's one of the nicer cards. God, corners are <laughs> corners are dinged up right out of the packs. It's a nice card though. Uh, one of the nicer cards in the set. Where's Ricky at? Uh, Ricky Henderson. That's an eighty dollar card in a ten. It's not a ten. It's certainly not. Um, oh, nice! Another hit. Well, you know, as much of a hit as we could get. Got the strawberry. That's a pretty nice card there. That looks pretty good. Nice. These packs have been pretty well centered. Wow, Harold Baines. Okay, we're just we're rolling along. Um, nice. Um, Heath, Saberhagen, Steve Henderson. Uh, Lego. Holland. Ted Power. We're finding some of the big names. Got a Bly Levin right there on the back. Torched by the gum or the wax for Bly Levin. Set that aside even with the stain. Let's see. Got a... Uh... Oh, got a Carew. Nice. 
That's nicely centered. Eh, it's off top to bottom. Never mind. I take it back. Got these, uh, the, the Pete Rose special cards. Those are actually worth some money as well. I'm going to set those aside here. Jack Morris, Reynolds, Rick Manning, Tippy, Mariners Leaders card, Frank Williams, Perez. Mark Clear, Jim Beatty. We're getting there. Like most of my videos, I do have to speed them up. Okay, let's see here. Get rid of you. The wrappers are piling up. <laughs> Porter, Blake, Sixto, Ray Knight. Walling, Clint Hurdle, Denny, Nicely, Bobby Brown, Jerry Koosman, I believe he signs through the mail, um, Bob Jones, Rick Miller, okay, Bob Rogers, and Brian Dayett. Oh, man. Looking forward to getting that bulk PSA order back, too, but that's going to be a few more weeks, so... Um, Looking forward to that. Putting together a P, uh, an SGC order as well. Oops. Butler. Jim Gott. Eastler Brown. Yeah, SGC order I've been working on compiling. Um, not sending, not exactly sending top dollar cards. We got some cool cards. Turn back the clock, Frank Robinson. That's kind of cool. I'll set that aside there. Uh, cards that I dropped. Sam, Sammy Khalifa and Dave Parker. Dave Parker is one of the cards we were looking for here. Well, certainly not the big card. 595. The Cobra. I think he signs too. Um, believe he charges. Um, not a pretty penny, but I think he charges like $10 a card to sign, so not sure if that's, you know, not sure if it's worth it. Um, might send it. Frank White. Murphy, Key, Rigetti, Don Mattingly. Cool, another Don. God, dinged corner, right out of the pack. You know, I guess all boxes aren't handled the same way, you know, so who knows. Ozzy Guillen. Let's, let's see. I'm thinking, of, I think I confused Ozzy Guillen with the Willie McGee earlier. 254. So this is, this is Ozzy Guillen's rookie card here. Uh, worth a mind melting uh, $15 in a PSA 10. <laughs> um, don't think it had a shot at a 10 either. Pretty nicely centered box for the most part. I mean, sometimes you see some nightmare stuff, you know. Tony Perez, record breaker card, and one of the checklists. Some sets the checklists are worth something, you know, with the assumptions that kids threw them away, but I don't think that applies to junk glass. <laughs> no. I have some checklists from like the 60s and 70s that are pretty cool cards. You know, it's incredible to see some of them, how they survive, you know, not being marked up and whatnot. Um, let's see, Dusty Baker. Dale Murphy. Dar Ron Darling. Mike Schmidt. Nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mike Schmidt, worth a $40 in a gem 10. Um, not a 10, more like a nine, maybe an eight with some of the centering issue there. Giants leader, Steve Murra. Okay. This one was, this pack was already falling open. Charles Hudson. LaPont, 
Raleigh Fingers. Nice. I collect Raleigh Fingers. I have an autographed baseball of him that was given to me uh, by my dad Christmas, you know, probably when I was around 12 years old. Uh, I think we're still looking for the Jackson, the Reggie Jackson, Mr. October card here. Junior Ortiz, uh, Dave Sachs, Gary Matthews. Sid, Rick Chu, Chu. All right. Okay. Collins, Lee, Tettleton, Tony Perez. It's a cool card. Bush, Walker, Burris, Howell, Checklist, Vince Coleman, Randy Reddy. It's a good name for a pitcher. I think he was a pitcher. <laughs> Is Reddy ready? Send in Reddy. Let's see here. Moose. Kirk Gibson, Dave Henderson, Lee Smith, nice, that's a nice one, Cal Ripken, nice one, another nice pull there, well, I think we're getting a pretty good variety in this pack here, so, you know, compliments to the 1986 uh, tops collation skills um, haven't seen a ton of repeats you know every now and then you'll see someone break something um, you know from the 70s or the 80s whatnot and you'll see the same names come up just again and again uh, here's another one of those Pete Rose specials it's gonna be all tore up well tore up with the with the wax stain looks like we got another Pete Rose special right off the right off of that card this one's a bit nicer there um, let's see here. Let me drop that one. We got a checklist. Got some of those Pete Rose cards. Uh, Cal Ripken All-Star card. That's a nice one. Looks pretty sharply centered, too. Eric Show, Barker. Pena. Turn back the clock on Tom Seaver. Palmer. Dave Palmer. Not him. Let's see here. Leonard, Padres leaders card. Okay. Oh, Nolan Ryan on the back, crushed by the wax, and with some real edge wear there, serious edge wear. Oh man, that's a bummer, especially if that's the only uh, Ryan that we see in this in this box. Oh man, bummer. Ryan's one of the nicer cards. It's like, I think it's a three, $350 card in a PSA 10. That one has obviously no chance of that with the edge wear and whatnot. Um, that's a, that's a probably a seven ST for stain uh, with that wax stain there. Um, okay, bummer. Pretty nice, so it's in my stack over here. It's pretty nicely centered, but crushed by the wax. That's just, you know, the way it crumbles with these, uh, with these old, you know, junk wax. Here's another Carew. Nice, set that guy aside. Another Pete Rose. Uh, Jack Morris, okay, we're seeing some, some uh, duplicates here, certainly. Excuse me. Cecil Guante. Turn back the clock with Valenzuela. Steve, not even gonna give that last name a shot there. And we're getting down to the bottom of it. I got six minutes to wrap this here. Or five minutes. Let's see here. Herb. Next time I break a box, I'm gonna try and step it up, do a little more expensive. But this was just such a good deal. I 
Couldn't pass it up. You guys have any suggestions for some Tom Seaver? Nice. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for stuff to break, let me know. Um, probably interested in like, you know, $100 box range. Rick Waits. If I have to start another video, so be it. Okay. Dennis Lamp, Dr. McDowell, Gary Maddox, Johnson. St. Clair, Mike Jones. Still no Reggie Jackson. Thought that was a Kirby Puckett on the back, but it's a Porter. Let's see here. John Stuper. Greg Nettles. Bob Gritch. John Butcher, Chuck Porter. Okay. Okay. Let's see, Ted Simmons, Sid Fernandez, Bill Doran. Another Dusty Baker. The checklist and or the uh, the spring the spring trip fever cards and wrappers are piling up on me. So oh, let's see here. Keith Hernandez. Tony Fernandez. Okay, let's do it. That's a lot of gum. A lot of gum that's not very appetizing. Al Collins. Don Baylor. Cecil Fielder, okay. I think that's, that's two Cecil Fielder rookies we've pulled here. Another Joe Necro. Okay. Yeah, I just like to look at these. How cool would it to be? How cool would it to be? Jace, uh, I can't even talk. How cool would it be to uh, to break a box of 1964 tops? <laughs> it would probably cost uh, you know the entire balance of most people's uh, 401k accounts or whatever your retirement means is. Not sure what that would cost. Probably a small fortune though. Willie Randolph. I think, no. I was gonna say, thought I saw that one. Okay. So it'd be nice to find a Ryan that isn't um, wax destroyed. That'd be real nice. Miller, Ford, Parrish, Frazier, Nichols, Maldonado. Nice, Don Sutton, really showing his age there. Wow. Uh, let's see. Okay. Don Sutton signs. I popped that in the mail to him. It's a nicer example. I have some cards from the 70s I tried to send him recently. Oh, 30 minutes. 
Please hold on for one second. Oh, it's letting me keep going. Keep going. Okay. We'll keep going then, too. Uh, Dave Anderson, Ricky Adams. Royster, Marshall. Forster. Her. Another McGee. Tito. Tony La Russa. We got that card earlier. Rupert Jones. Okay. Oh, man. Just never ends. <laughs> okay, let's see. Gary Pettis. Zilly. Templeton. Bob McClure. Steve Sachs. Bob Wolfong. Jurak. Tony Perez again. St. Clair. Excuse my chair if you guys can hear it. It's, uh, sorry about that. It's squeaking and has a mind of its own. Okay, I think we're in the home stretch here. I think we got six packs left. If you could count that as the home stretch. Chet Lemon. Milner, Julio, Cruz, Langford, Shelby, Howell, Dave Stewart, nice, another PSA, uh, PSA, Pete Rose special, it's been a long day, drove to Santa Barbara and back, so eight, uh, no, eight or nine hours on the road will do that to you. Thought this would be a little therapeutic for me. So thanks for bearing with me on another kind of not so explosive box break here. Uh, let's see. I'll do a recap at the end too of some of the, the notables. John Tudor takes a tumble. Mazzilli. Rayford. Nelson. Trevino. Sample. Another Ken Griffey Sr. Dave Smith. Okay, actually reached the bottom of the box. In one corner. Let's see here. Vance Law. Johnny Ray. Danny Cox. Another Phil Necro. Nice, he signs as well. I believe it's five or $10 a card. Vince Coleman was called out as a notable in this, uh, in this set. Not sure why, I'll set him aside here. Ken Dixon, I'd never heard of him until I looked at that PSA, uh, the SMR breakdown. If anyone's still watching at this point, let me know. <laughs> Really appreciate all the recent subscribers. I think I'm at like 160. Bill Duran. Morgan. There's a leader's card. Batting. Ricky Henderson, Don Mattingly, Don Mattingly, Dave Winfield, Don Mattingly, Don Mattingly, Ricky Henderson. Some of these cards are, I think these cards would be pretty nice, with the Sharpie signature. Um, so I think some of these are gonna make it into the mail. I mean, why not? I mean, you read, you heard some of the numbers for, I mean, even in tens, these cards aren't worth a whole lot, but you know, if the, if the signature presents well, why not? Bergman. Raleigh. Something about sending cards through the mail is just fun for me. It's kind of just a, you know, mystery what you're going to get back. You know, makes, ask, get to ask some questions about, you know, 
let these guys remember for their from their playing days. Just kind of fun. Wow, that's interesting. Not sure if you guys can see this. There's, oh, okay. Oh man, I thought I was going crazy. There, I thought there was loose cards in the bottom, but they're just some of the card backs, which is kind of cool. Oh, I was like, oh wow. I was like, this box must have been, you know, rifled through if there's loose cards at the bottom. Then I saw that one of them was Pete Rose, but so no one's gonna put that back. You know, one of the quote unquote more valuables. This is the last pack. Should have announced that a little better. Sid Fernandez. What are we gonna get here? Craig Gerber. Willie Mays, that's kind of cool. Turn back the clock card there. Let's say hey kid. Carlton Fisk at the very end. Set him aside. Don't think we pulled that card. And a Steve Yeager. Yeager. Quite old. Uh, <laughs> All right, so we got our stack here. Let's do a quick recap. Um, quite a few cards that I call notable, but again, these aren't worth a ton. Got a Carlton Fisk. Got a nice one. Looks like Ricky Henderson there. Vince Coleman. Necro. Pete, bunch of Pete Rose um, special cards. Tom Seaver, Dwight Gooden, Bevrod Carew. Damn, this Nolan Ryan was pre pretty nicely centered too. But it has that wax stain. Got the Ripken, more of the Pete Rose. There's the Ripken card. Lee Smith, Tony Perez, Raleigh Fingers, Mike Schmidt, Ozzy Guillen, Don Mattingly, Dave Parker. Another Carew, Burt Blylevin, Harold Baines, Strawberry, Ricky Henderson. Got the Sandberg. It's a nice card. Necro, Cecil Fielder, Rookie, Pete Rose, his base card. It's off top to bottom. Paul Molitor, Gary Carter, Dwight Gooden, Willie McGee, another Dwight Gooden. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, you know, some of this uh, walk back down memory lane. Kind of cool that you know I could break a box of 33 year old baseball cards for so cheap. Um, got those PSA cards coming in the mail soon, so I'll have a fun PSA reveal. Until next time, Paparazzi talking ball cards out of here.